Welcome to Chimney Meadows Nature Reserve, one of the Barks, Bucks and Oxen Wildlife Trust's largest owned nature reserve and a fantastic haven for wildlife. Chimney Meadows is one of over 80 nature reserves which are cared for by the Trust. It provides an important refuge for wildlife but also somewhere for people to discover nature on their doorstep. It is also part of the natural habitats which are helping to tackle the climate crisis that we currently find ourselves in. So in 2003 the Trust purchased Chimney Meadows and undertook an ambitious project to turn what were arable fields into species rich meadows. 18 years on Chimney has now become one of the Trust's most beautiful and diverse wildflower meadows and it has also been named as a flagship reserve under Prince Charles Coronation Meadows project. Chimney Meadows is not only a suite of hay meadows, it also has quite a large area of wet grassland and this provides important habitat for wetland birds throughout the year and especially curlew that actually breed on site. We're now going to head out onto the reserve, uh, make our way across a few of the meadows, pop into the bird hides and then head down to the river before we then turn around and make our way back here. So do a broad loop of the reserve and, and see what we can find. So we're now just come off the road and entered the first couple of fields as you head out towards the meadows. These fields, though they are meadows, they're actually pasture fields because we don't cut these for hay. We use them to graze our livestock when we have the hay meadows shut off during the growing season. We've got Hebridean sheep and Beulah sheep. We also have Dexter cattle on site. These livestock are an integral part of the management of the hay meadows. So after we've actually cut and removed the hay, we then need to aftermath graze it. And that's where these guys come in. Here we are in the first of the arable reversion hay meadows. In front of me you can see a profusion of these little yellow flowers with, with little seed pockets and this is called yellow rattle, also known as hay rattle and it's a really important plant in the success of creating a hay meadow. The reason for that is it is semi-parasitic so it attaches itself to the roots of the grasses especially and steals nutrients and water from them which reduces their growth um, and then allows other wildflowers to take that space and and this is what you see today so you you can see the grasses but it's quite thin and that's why you then get this gorgeous array of wildflowers. What's really important is is not to just walk through a meadow but to actually stop and just have a look and a listen because you'll be amazed at what you'll find and what you'll hear. So when the sun's out, it's not quite sunny today, but there's a profusion of crickets and grasshoppers that will bounce around in front of you. You've got butterflies galore. So when the sun's out here, we've got marbled whites, meadow browns, ringlets, common blues, and, and they're dancing around like you wouldn't believe. So we've now arrived at the first of two hides that you'll come across um, on this walk around today and um, they're great places for, for stopping and having a little sit down and seeing what you can see. The hide looks out over part of our wetland which at the moment is quite tall grass so quite difficult to see anything but in the winter you will see things like teal, swans, herons quite often and if you're lucky little egrets so it's worth coming and sitting for a while to see what you can see what you'll also see in the winter anyway at the moment it's hard to see there is actually a ditch that runs through the middle of there it's been fenced off in recent times and it's great habitat for water voles um, but we also recently did a little bit of survey work and we found harvest mice living there as well as field voles bank voles and, and a few other species so doesn't look exciting, but when you get in there, you find some great things.
Okay, so now we're here at the small hide. We've just come along from the other one. This one overlooks a pond um, and it's a great place if you want to sit and see damselflies, dragonflies, that kind of thing. Really, really good for that. Just en route behind me, you'll see we've got some picnic benches. Uh, it's a great spot just to sit, relax, have a cup of coffee, eat your sandwiches and just listen to the bird song around you. So we've just come up from the picnic area um, onto this bridge which spans the Thames Cut. That's so cool because it's actually a man-made channel dug by hand, but the actual original route of the Thames still runs round the back of the land to my right, which we now call the island. It's also home to otters and we have had uh, an otter and her cubs. So if you're very lucky and you stand here for long enough, you, you might well spot one. We've now walked down from the uh, bridge further up the Thames to our new observation hide and gives you a really lovely 360 degree view over Chimney and back across to the River Thames which is just in front of me and then across there on the southern side of the river is Duxford Old River which was a piece of land we acquired few years ago and is now undergoing wetland restoration works including a fish pass which will allow fish to travel across a piece of water that they've previously been blocked from and provide some spawning ground as well. Here we are in a, another one of our meadows and as you can see a massive diversity of plant life here. Uh, they're also home to some ground nesting birds such as skylarks, so we have a lot of skylarks and meadow pipits on site. Part of the management of the hay meadows is the hay cut and this is an uh, integral part of how we create the meadows. So you cut the hay, you remove it and allow the grass to grow back and then we bring the livestock in to, to graze that. The hay itself is a really valuable commodity for us. We feed it back to all of our livestock across the three counties and any of the surpluses is then sold off. Here at Chimney we have approximately 17 kilometres of hedgerows around the site, all managed in a variety of ways for the benefit of wildlife. And in the early spring and summer we have blossom providing nectar source and then in the autumn and into the winter we get a profusion of berries which provides a food source for field fare and red wing which come in their hundreds. Just stopped en route as my cows have popped down to say hello. So these are some of our Dexter cows that uh, we have at Chimney Meadows. We're now just about heading back to the car park after our whistle stop tour of Chimney Meadows. I hope you've enjoyed seeing some of the spectacles that are here and getting a taste of this iconic landscape and how it maybe used to look and feel. Chimney is an incredible place to be and there's so much more to explore. So I hope you feel inspired to come and visit. <laughs>